your tricks. His enemies will pay. Thank the Divines for you. I'm quite all right, thanks to you. Dexian Evicus is my name. I'm a moth priest of the White Gold Tower. These vampires claimed they had some purpose in store for me, but they wouldn't say what. Probably hoping to ransom me, the fools. You do? Come on! No! That'll teach you. I'm impressed you could f for the reading. Yeah, just let the old man know. What can I do for you? If my trip to Skyrim has ah, my rescuer. It's good to see you again. It's not exactly the hospitality I'm used to, but your man Isran has seen to my needs well enough. And might I add, this is a remarkable fortress. I have colleagues back home that would love to study this place in detail. Oh, most certainly. Let's find out what secrets the scroll can tell. Who's there? Yeah! I knew I heard something. For the dawn! Now, if everyone will please be quiet, I must concentrate. I see a vision before me. An image of a great bow. I know this weapon. It is Oriel's bow. Now a voice whispers, saying, Among the night's children, a dread lord will rise. In an age of strife, when dragons return to the realm of men, darkness will mingle with light, and the night and the day will be as one. The voice fades and the words begin to shimmer and distort. But wait, there is more here. The secret of the bow's power is written elsewhere. I think there is more to the prophecy, recorded in other scrolls. Yes, I see them now. One contains the ancient secrets of the dragons, and the other speaks potency of ancient blood. My vision darkens, and I see no more. To know the complete prophecy, we must have the other two scrolls. I knew I heard <laughs> One less monster in the world. I knew it would come to this one day. I knew. And no one believed. Keep your eyes open. Creed! 